All right, Rippers, welcome back. We are out here today testing for group of three different ammunitions that I could find enough of to do this competition. So we've got the Agilia, or however you say it, 22 extra, super extra copper plated lead at 38 grains, moving, oh, 1,280 feet per second. Then we've got the Agula copper plated bullet, 40 grains, moving 1,255 feet per second. And then we've got the individual box super extra in 40 grain at about 1,255 feet per second. That's what our selections are. I've got preloaded in here four rounds of each to check for groups. Here we go. We're going to do the first one. Pardon me for all of the uh, noise. We're out of public range. Okay, here we go. The first five. He's shooting at a target just like this up close one, but all the way back over there. And then, here we go. We're going to do the second ammo. This is the 40 grain bulk box. Now we're going to load up the last five of the single box 40 grain super extra. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to load up, it looks like this best group is out of this single box, so we're going to load up 10 and go rapid fire at the head of the head target. Now, if you guys got your timers, you can time this one and it'll give you an idea of what 100 rounds will take. And add two seconds per reload. Okay, you ready? Get set, go. That was 10 rounds. Now we're going to clear the range and then we'll go check it out. Okay, let's head on out. Now, as you guys can tell, I got my son, Christopher, with me. He's filming. So we're heading on out to the 100-yard mark. I really appreciate all of you guys tuning in with us. We have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun entering this contest. So far, everything's going well. We've got hundreds of rounds through not only that Ruger, but also through the pistols that we're shooting today. And uh, we haven't had a single malfunction, knock on wood, right? Right, so that's a good thing. That means I think I can get through it clean without any malfunctions. If so, that's good, because clearing a malfunction can take two to five seconds. So that'll cost us on time. So let's see how we're doing. First, we're going to look at groups over here, Chris. Okay, so this is the cheapest stuff. Bulk box, 38 grain, 
kind of a big group. Then we get over here to the 40 grain bulk box, super extra. And there's the fifth shot. That's a pretty decent group. But then we got down here is the 40 grain single box. And I don't know why, but the bulk box for some reason is less tight than the single box. So we've got our five rounds of our bulk type. So that's why I thought that was the tightest. So that's what we shot 10 here of. Now, as you can see, the rifle's shooting a little to the left. So I'll correct that. But look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that counts because it hit the line 10. And you saw how fast I did that and pulled that trigger. Now, take this time from the first shot sound to the last, times that times 10, add six seconds for two second reloads to make 100. And uh, that'll give you a rough estimate of what we're gonna do. So, until next time, you guys stay safe, stay secure, be aware of your surroundings, and always be ready and prepared for anything that may come your way. And on the next video, what we got coming up will be coming out and doing some practice runs where we can burn through a little bit of ammo and make sure we got reliability. And uh, I'm gonna go find some more of this single box ammo. I think I got enough at home, but we're gonna go see if we can find some extras just in case. And uh, we're gonna do our first run here pretty quick. So stay tuned for that. I think we got it. I think we could do a sub two second, maybe even make the hundred second uh, goal. So, adios.